are traditions among our people that run deep as stone. Our shields are as versatile as they are strong. Our swords are lethal, simple, and ancient design. And a leader who does not lead the charge is no leader at all. We are called Warlords, a name that is earned. We are the shield of our people. And we will not fall. All right, so we get to play as this guy then. You know, if he's the warlord, it's weird that you know we play as the ra or the raider is like the hero of the Viking campaign and not him. You would think that you know that the title that is earned would be the uh, the main good guy for it. Now, fighting these guys has been fairly annoying with their shields because they have like that. I don't know. I hope they explain what it is. Where it's like they have a like they can block every direction at once, because uh, that seems like a good ability. Granted, you use it and it just invites a guard break. So I mean, you know, whoopity do. Uh, and like when you do the uh, the tutorials there for the guard break, it's like oh you use guard break as they use it, right? But then you get, and it's like, all right, that seems really easy. And then you get into the actual game and it's like guard break and you do not have fucking time we would to fucking ships. actually uh, reverse it. And I had been out of action for long yeah. enough. All right. <clears throat> so this is the guy that we rescued, right? Like, as the raider, this is the dude that we pulled up <clears throat> the... The cage at the end of the last part. Focus strikes, eh? Really? So it's gonna be like this? It is, isn't it? Oh, I can do that. Nice. Alright. Wow, this guy is such a short fucking range on his thing. So it's just Hard pulled down here. on the right stick and he crouches and uh, puts up his shield. So that's good. That's easy enough. Hopefully it'll come Bonus in handy. Beard. Invasor! These black stones have done a poor job of fortifying our defenses. Hmm. So, also, why... I, uh, that's actually kind of interesting. I'll actually give him credit for this. Because, like, obviously that guy... Like, when we were them, they were speaking English, right? And then now, you know, we're fighting against them and they're not speaking English. You know, our guys are. Which is good, because that's, like... Like, their, uh, their language doesn't translate over, right? Uh, so that's actually a good way to do that. And fast. Come on, buddy. Oh, wow, that guy went down in one fucking hit. Okay, those two. There we go. Uh, okay. So in here. Oh, fuck. Now, see, now here's the thing, right? It's like... Dodge is A, right? Really? Good God. So his, like, like, this is his fast attack, is, like, so fucking slow, because he fucking puts his sword, like, behind his shield and swings like that. That's not a fast attack. That attack is anything but fast. Like, 
Yeah, come on, buddy. Come on, come fight me in here. No? You refuse? Oh, here he comes. Yeah? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, what's the matter? You don't, you don't want to come over to the blade to fight me. What? I fucking had it? See, it even showed. I don't want to go out there with them because I don't want to get surrounded by all those guys. So when you do... Okay, so right there, right? I Not only did I 100% hit the fucking guard break counter, I, uh... There we go. I, uh, fucking had my guard in the right position, and then they still fucking let me get hit by him. I, like, this game, man, I really... So, what I decided, right, is... Oh, apparently this is observable or something. Once the black stones were pushed out of Valkenheim, the Vikings would put their shipwrights and their lumber mill back to it. And then... Okay, you know what? Is there... Where are options? Oh, God, no wonder everything is so fucking out of whack. I didn't come in and play with my audio options. There we go. That's better. Oh, that's so much better. I see. Can I get the thing again? I think so, right? Once the black stones were pushed out of Valkenheim, the Vikings would put their shipwrights and their lumber mills back to work. And then, they would need a target. Okay, that's much better. Because I noticed on the, uh, the last part there when I was getting my, uh... Come on, buddy. You are so, like, he's so fucking slow. I get that he's a viking, but like, you don't have to do the exact same. You know, I... The whole reason I played this game, right, is because not only is it a Ubisoft, which... The vikings like to tell stories about why they decorate their ships with monsters. But the simplest explanation is the best one. They do it to frighten their enemies. Um, because like, not only is it a Ubisoft game, which, uh, you know... I like I like I love Ubisoft. Uh, where the fuck am I going? This way, maybe I don't know. And um, you know, it's like a, it's a combat game, which I also enjoy. Oh, there's a thing. Oh, is that fire bombs right there? Ooh, I need those. Um, <laughs> the fucking fly one tried to fly up my fucking nose. Um, and you know, it's like Vikings and shit, right? It's like this should be like I. Like, this should be awesome. But they really fucked up quite a bit, didn't they? I mean, like, your basic attacks are so fucking pathetic. And take so fucking long. And yet, when you fight enemies... Now, once again, I'm assuming that this isn't the case online. Christ. Because that doesn't really... That wouldn't really make much sense, you know? Uh... For it to be, like, so severely unbalanced. Um, for people to still be enjoying it. But, like, I guess that's why you never really see anything about the campaign of this game, right? It's like... It's like one of those games that, like, has a campaign, but all anybody ever talks about is the multiplayer. Which makes sense, because, you know, the multiplayer is the good part, apparently. I mean, I can't see it being much worse than this with fucking psychic fighters. There's supposed to be something... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, that's not quite right. What's that? Continue through the underpass onto the bridge. Well, I'm on a bridge, but my bridge looks different than theirs. I also don't know what they consider an underpass in this map so far, so... Get out of here. 
Fucking fuck. Yes, get that. Oh, you motherfucker. You know, I really got the impression uh, from, like, the gameplay I watched that once you got the execution, you got the execution. Like, I never, like, I had never seen anybody actually got, get knocked out of an execution. It's so fucking pathetic. Like, how easily you get fucking hit. Oh, God, what the fuck? Stupid fucking fly. Fucking kidding me. Hadn't annoyed me all fucking morning. Now I'm trying to record. Um, but yeah, it's so weird to me. Just like how, like... Like, I don't think I've ever had a Ubisoft game that I've thought, well, this is shit. You know, like, even a game like, um... The Crew, right? It's like... Do I like that game? Eh, not really. See, now, I'm really confused because I am definitely at a different point. Because those breakables are there, but that's not... Oh, I see. So, like, can I bust this down? I cannot. So... Because it looks like the, uh... Oh, you know what? It's that bridge down there that I'm supposed to be on for this. Observable. You know, they have a lot of pathways in this, which is good. It's good that they do that. But, um, at the same time, the, the, the people who make the guides really need to, uh... Uh, really need to uh, take that into account. You know, they can't just say, it's like, oh, go go through the oh, the underpass. It's like, all right, but... And onto a bridge. It's like, all right, but there's not really... What's with the little, like, four stars that I have there at the bottom? I don't actually know what that's for. Alright, so there was a ladder that I could have climbed right here. Um, oh, right, so like I was saying before, I, uh, I figure I'm a, the campaigns are all six chapters each. Meaning that, uh, oh, hang on. The Vikings had built up their settlements and shipyards over decades, centuries. It took a little more than a year for it all to fall into disrepair. Hmm. Uh, so, like, since each campaign is, uh, is six chapters, because I looked that up, uh, that means that we'll finish the, uh, the Viking campaign on Wednesday and start the, uh, the samurai one on, on Friday, meaning that we'll have, like, an extra day the, like next week where we'll have like once again that's assuming that they all last the same amount of time uh, I don't know where the objective is so like this thing here yeah the runes of the Vikings and our own letters must have a common ancestor the difference is that our letters can be drawn with a quill whereas theirs require only a chisel hmm um, so I figure on that day, you know, we'll finish the, or assuming they're all the same length, we'll finish the, uh, hang on, uh, go, keep going towards objective through the gate and you'll spot a breakable in an alcove. Like, oh, it's right there. Um, we'll end up with like the Friday, um, where we don't technically have anything, but I figure with that. Um, I need to open that gate. We will, uh, we'll go online for that day. So, like, next Friday will be, uh, one where I just go online and I do a bit of matches. I play it for, like, an hour online just to see if it's better. Because, I mean, like I said, so far it's fucking, like, I don't really like it. Uh, and like I keep saying, I don't know if just I'm not understanding something, but everything seems, like, super slow to me. Or for me, anyway, it seems super slow. For them, it seems pretty fucking quick, in all honesty. Um. To the tower. Oh. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't. Leave the ship. 
What? Go right into the so this tower maybe. Um. And I mean, hopefully it's better. I mean, that would explain why this game is still popular, even though, like, even looking Viking online. Clans do not truly join one another. Alliances are common, but are just as commonly broken. The Warborn clans is just a way of saying all the clans who cannot defeat the Warborn in combat. Um, because, like, even looking online, I don't actually see that many, like, positive things said about this game which is like weird because it's still a game like it's still game like they haven't abandoned it which means that there's still at least some form of user base on it right hopefully this is gonna bring our guys in right yeah it is i should get to the ballista should you now save me some blackstone helmets This doesn't. Matter. I almost pity those knights. Nice, got to lead the target. Um, so yeah, I mean, hopefully that'll turn out well. I don't know. We'll we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Uh, I mean, obviously that's not really something I can judge without playing it. But like I said, it seems. Weird that this game is still a thing with how shit I feel it is. Uh, and, like, I realize that some people, like, there's lots of games that I don't like. But, like I said, even, like, The Crew, which is a racing game, you know, like, I don't really care for racing games. I'll play them occasionally. Uh, but, like, the little bit that I played of The Crew wasn't even, like... Like, I did a few races, but the majority that I was doing was just driving around getting the, uh, the landmarks. Oh, shit. Odin's beard. Get in that fire, bitch. <laughs> oh, that's cheating. So hard. It is such a cheater move. Fucking love it. Defeat Julius Salavanda. They also don't seem to have as much issue with the, uh, with, like, the guard breaks as I do. And by that, I mean, like, I get guard broke, and I seem to be standing there for so long compared Those to how long they stand there. had quite a haul. Where did these come from? From samurai ships, washing up all summer long, <laughs> full of this chunk. The samurai! They're weak. We outnumber them ten to one. And they've had a good year! We're gonna need a fleet. <laughs> it was time yes. for a raid. <laughs> Apollyon's war had taken us to the edge of extinction. But that raid reminded us of who we are. We began with a fortress on the sea. But they knew we were coming.
They were really prepared with those spike things. Also, my video froze, so that's actually the second time I've watched that. Um, so I don't. The gates when this of game... that fortress had worked for a century. All we had to do was get through them. Uh, so like, when this game first came out, right? Like Everyone Ubisoft uh, sponsored a bunch of videos from YouTubers, including one from Game Theory, where he actually had to uh, do a uh, like. Really? Those gates moved. Oh, wow. right. yeah. Um, where they actually put like the Vikings and the uh, the knights and that against each other in a uh, I'm trying to think. Of, oh, deadliest warrior type scenario, right? Uh, except they did way more research than Deadliest Warrior did because, you know, he actually did his own research and not just called in somebody who said they were an expert. Um, see, this guy takes out the little dude so fucking fast. He doesn't change direction quickly, but he takes out the little dude. And, um, they determined that at the only point in time where these three cultures could have technically met... Jesus, fuck. Um, that the samurai would win hands down because, like, the Vikings were just, like, a non-issue because they didn't wear armor. And, uh, would therefore just get, like, the shit kicked out of them. Uh, and the samurai, while being great archers at that point in time, they didn't really have any real swordsmanship skills because that didn't come until later in history, right? And, uh... Get over here. Oh, goody, I'm fucking being surrounded again. And, uh... They were like, alright, well, technically the samurai's arrows could pierce the knight's armor. They were very good archers and they had horses, right? So, like, they could ride around... In an arena-type scenario, they could ride around and, uh absolutely obliterate them with arrows, right? But, like, and I understand, and yes, I believe them, but no fucking horses in this game. That's not fair. Um, and obviously, like, they use, like, the better version of, uh, of each, I was gonna say race, which isn't technically inaccurate. Hmm. Um, like they obviously use like the better version of them all for this game. Ooh, what is this? Race sprint speed slightly, attack and defense greatly. All right. Oh, so also there's, um, there's only observables in this one. There is no breakables, which is a little weird. So that's supposed to be the first one, but I'm not seeing where to, uh... Oh, nice. There's another one there. Take that. Oh, God. Um... See, and, like, right there, right? Like, I'm trying so hard to fucking, like, switch up my attacks and that, but, like, he just doesn't. Like, he just, like, fucking refuses to. And these unblockable strikes, man, are fucking rough. Like, I, I'm trying to fucking combo, but apparently if you don't have, like, 
the exact right button combination, you just get nothing. Like, you can't, like, they've never heard of people switching up their tactics or anything for this game, apparently. Apparently, no, they have their set moves, and that's, and that's all that they can possibly do is that combination of attacks, otherwise, nothing. So this, I'm pretty sure, right? It's progress forward, taking cross, giant crossbow catapult, which I guess might not be this one. Maybe they're saying there's like another one in a bit or something. I don't know. I mean, this is a giant crossbow catapult, which is very weird. I don't know what the hell that design, like, is it a crossbow and a catapult or like, Fuck off. Heal them. Man, without this heal, man. Oh wow, he fucking wore right through his down there. cover. Yeah, they are. Come on. See, they have this issue where they have like, for killing like the little guys, they have like those animations, which isn't necessary. You know what? I need to check what's observable too. Break the drawbridge chain. Okay, so before we break a chain, apparently, is the observable, so. Um. But yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. Because, like, you know, you have fighting, like, regular fighting games. Where you have, like, uh. Okay, well, apparently that guy doesn't fucking care. the fuck was that? And once again, all my blocks are just going unimpeded. Of course. Oh, there we go. Wow, the Mesa greatly. They weren't lying, because that guy took very little damage up until I activated that. Fuck you. Oh, uh, maybe that's the catapult thing. Come on, yeah, there it is. Um... Because, like, in regular fighting games, right, like, you have your combos that do things, but at the same time... The war machines of the samurai often make ours look like toys. They learned much during their exodus, and from many different peoples. If they hadn't, they wouldn't be such a threat. And, uh... But, you know, they have so many, whereas these ones here, if we actually go to the, uh, the move set, like, you have... Like, that's it. You have three, basically. You have three fucking combos that you can chain together. And that's it. Like, it's so fucking garbage. Like, I'm trying to, like, I need, like, I don't know. It just, it's so weird that they put, like, it's like they put, like, a weird amount of fucking um, effort into this, right? Fuck down. Oh, what? I thought... So, when you're on a ladder... Right, and you go... Oh, wait, is there some button that you have to hit? Hang on. There it is. Okay, you gotta hit B then. Because I know that you can knock people down from beneath you when you're on the ladder. Because that's what I was trying to do to him there, and it obviously didn't work. Shields up, boys. That's what you fucking got him for. Come on. Oh, no. A bad guy. Come on, buddy. Goodbye. <laughs> I really just have no fucking business with the uh the rest of like with the actual combat in this game like it's just i can't deal with it so i'm like you know what fuck it any opportunity that i get 
where I don't actually have to deal with the combat. It's like, all right, I'm taking it. The sea fort of the samurai guarded one of the very few places in the mire where a fleet could safely come to shore. And it was an ancient place. Was it? Oh. Them. Nice. All right, what does this do? This is morale boost, right? Increases ally damage and makes enemy soldiers flee. I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. I'll just stick with my increased damage and such. I kind of like this game here, right? It could be so good, right? That chain should do it. Like, there's so much about this game that would be fucking like. I could see this being a better game, right? Like, with a little bit more of a story, with a, obviously a revamp combat system that actually makes sense. Um, and actually, like, these maps are, like, the oh, perfect right. size to have just, like, push them back. side objectives and such. That, like, like as you can, like, as you contribute to the fight, right? Like, it actually alters the flow of the battle that's going on and whatnot, like, um... And like the different, like you can, like you switch between the characters or something, where it's like when you're the raider, you're here, and when you're there, you're there, and whatnot, right? The samurai had no ancient ancestors in these lands. They came after the fall from another land far to the east. But they had been enthusiastic in their rebuilding. So, like, for example, like, you would be, like, though, if you switch to the, like, a, uh, I, I guess kind of like GTA style character switching, right? Or, like, you switch between them as you play. And, uh, like, when you're the warlord, you're down here in the fray, fucking people up and everything, right? And then, like, you could switch to, like, this character and you're, uh, doing this other thing, you know? You switch to, like, the sneaky character and, like, you're going around doing like this kind of shit right sorry keep fucking smacking around my allies right go left and once you're halfway across the bridge look right to view across I guess I'm doing this halfway across I'm not I don't think I'm at the right spot on the left side of the wall in front. I still don't, whatever. Um, and like, I, oh, right here. Maybe. The battle was won. Only nice. their commander remained. Okay. And like, I think that would be really neat. And then like, obviously like as the commander, you could be down there just like bolstering your troops and that as like the raider, you would have like, a different objective if you're the Valkyrie lady you'd have a different objective that you could go to um, uh, take the left and jump down onto the bridge below like down here that doesn't seem right I also don't know how to jump down oh like that that apparently fucking hurt before the waters receded that entrance was a canal imagine Ships sailing through into waters that are now only swamp. The world has changed. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I think that that would be pretty fucking neat, right? But instead we get this, which is like super the fucking basic. The commander was Fujikyo, a samurai champion. His name had reached across the sea. Even the Vikings knew of his legend. Hmm. There, the warborn raider would face him. But yeah, like, it would be just kind of really new. Cool, right? We'd actually have, like, a battle that would, like, ebb and flow as you did stuff and that. Like... You're in my way. Uh, 
Oh, come on, I fucking... Wait, did he guard break me, and I reverse guard break him, but he just ignored the fact that I reversed the guard break? Come on. Come on. Huh. Oh, what the hell was that nonsense? There you go. That was actually, uh, I guess revenge mode probably adds damage to you as well or something, right? Objective complete. That day reminded our people what Viking fury could do. The Great Raid, they would call it. And it had begun. Hmm. Because, yeah, I feel like they really... They really lost out with, uh... With the story that they were going with and, like, everything. I feel like they could have done way better. Like, so, so much better. Um, like a better story, like, because, like, the story is fine, more or less. There's a lot of shit in it that doesn't make sense, but, I mean, like, the basic for it is sense. But that's it for this part, anyway. I'll probably bitch more about it in the next part, because since I'm going to record it right now, so it's still in my mind. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next, on, I'll see you on Wednesday, where we'll finish the, uh, Viking campaign.